Just trust me, you want pants that unzip down the side. Because nothing makes you feel more invigorated than the breeze on your drawers as you hike through the wilderness. What's up guys, it's Eric from Late to the Game Outdoors, and today we're talking about the new First Light Corrugate Foundry Pants. I ordered these the day they came out, and at this point I think I've spent about seven or eight days in them, most of that cruising through some of the nastiest bear country Arizona has to offer, so I think I can give a fair review. First off, I I've been a diehard fan of the original Corrugate Guide Pants for years now. Hands down my favorite pants I've ever worn, until now I guess. The corrugates are super comfortable, they stretch and move with you, and this one pair has held up to over two years of hard use with zero rips. They're awesome pants. I got my tight pants on. And then I heard about the corrugate foundries, and I knew that I had to try them. And after some seriously hard use, here's what I think. These are some incredibly designed pants for the backcountry hunter. All right, they still retain some of the, the stretchability and the comfort of the original corrugates, but they've been reinforced in all the necessary areas that just need some extra protection. Mostly the knees and the seat. And they're not only double layered in those spots, but they're built with this waterproof membrane to keep moisture from soaking through in those areas that, that basically just most often end up on the ground. Speaking of waterproofness, might be a word, the whole pants are treated with DWR to help the water wick off the pants instead of soaking in. And I just spent a whole afternoon getting hit with off and on rain and sleet showers. And of course I left my rain gear at the truck because that's what I do. And I watched the water just beat up on my pants and I brushed it off. It was great. All right, aside from their wet weather performance, here's a couple other incredible features of these pants. Uh, the removable knee pads are a great touch if you want them. Uh, I wore these pants to the range a couple times and I loved having the pads when I just kept dropping into a prone position over and over again. That being said, if you throw on your pack and go hiking with the knee pads in, you'll definitely feel your knees getting hot. I know that's a weird and specific body part to complain about heat, but it's just the truth. You will have hot knees. So make your choice either way, but the pads are so easy to remove or reinsert that you can just keep them in the truck and change at any point. Now, the real highlight of these pants, the heat dumps. He had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Before these, I had never once paid attention to how much heat stores up in your pants while hiking, especially when you're hiking out heavy. But as soon as I started to heat up, I dropped those zippers and holy crap. It's like your lower half is being kissed by a thousand refrigerated angels. Okay, I know that's a weird image, but it's the only way I can describe it. It's like your whole core temperature drops immediately when you open up those heat dumps, and especially here in Arizona, where it always finds a way to be hot. I can't imagine not having them now. Couple other highlights are the cargo pockets move to the front of the leg, which was, I think, just to make room for the heat dumps, and this subtle change is actually massively convenient. Okay, hunting with a large pack belt in place always made it hard to get into my regular pockets, but the cargos were also kind of out of the way, and these bad boys are just the perfect spot for your phone or anything else that you're gonna need to access repeatedly while hiking around. And they also added these little reinforced corners to the regular pockets for a, a pocket knife or a flashlight or anything you would normally clip inside your pocket. The final bit of genius for these pants is the redesigned suspenders. Now, I realize not everyone is a suspender guy, but if you are, these are way better than the old First Light suspenders that I got with the original corrugates. Those things were always trying to slide down my shoulders no matter how I adjusted them, but these suckers just lock in place and never move. Also, and this is something I never even thought of until the moment it happened, but these clipless side buckle things actually make going to the bathroom way easier. If you are a suspender person, you've had this happen. It's a freezing cold morning, you're done with your coffee, and nature is now calling. But generally, your suspenders are buried beneath a couple layers of warmth, so if you're gonna answer that call, you need to shed all those layers to remove your suspenders and drop trout. I discovered on the first freezing morning of my last spring bear hunt that I could keep all my layers on, 
just quickly unhook the two side buckles and do my business. Afterwards, the buckles are just hanging there under all my warm layers, waiting to be reattached. I honestly don't even know if First Light intended that, but it has changed my wilderness pooping life forever. There's not really much else to say about the features of the pants. Uh, I mean, they seem incredibly durable so far. Uh, I spent four days climbing over deadfall and bushwhacking through some incredibly nasty, thorny bear country. And honestly, the only wear and tear I can see is that I sort of tore up the embroidered logo just a little bit. That's it. And based on the durability I've had from the original corrugates, I'm just, I'm sure these suckers are going to stand up to years of abuse. So, if you're in the market for some new pants this season, you seriously can't go wrong with the new First Light Corrugate Foundries. There's a link below to check them out, and if you haven't yet, please just do me a favor and subscribe right down here. If you want to know how I build my whole First Light layering system to handle virtually any season, that video is right over there. And if you're just looking for a good hunt for some inspiration, check out this one over here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.